The fifth CIA will be held in early November in Shanghai, and the annual event has become a significant platform for thousands of companies around the world, including the least developed countries. So today, the, uh, our CIA is roundtable. I will invite two guests with us. Hello, I am Ali from Afghanistan. My name is Alex. I am come from come from Timor Leste. So first of all, that we'd like to uh, listen to your story that your experience participate to the CIE. Uh, first time I heard about CIAE, it was in 2018, 2020. I could uh, join the first uh, time in CIAE because before I was going to a lot of exhibitions, but. Uh, I found CIAE is a little bit different with other platforms. Uh, so it's, we find that CIAE is a very professional and the biggest platform that we could bring the best product from our country, not only uh, promote and to introduce in China, and at the same time we have the opportunity to promote these products to abroad, especially during this situation which uh, Afghanistan is struggling with uh, economic uh, Problem. Uh, we are very glad and we are looking forward to join the fifth CIAE. I still remember the last time that you bring the Afghan uh, carpet, which raised interest among the Chinese consumers. Um, so, what's your plan for this year? Uh, this year in CIAE, we also bring carpets, different carpet. At the same time, we also bring some new products. Uh, we are also this year focused on Afghanistan pine nuts, which is very popular in China market since last year, August. China was uh, one of the first countries that take the initiative and uh, give the opportunity for Afghanistan and Afghanistan products to bring to China and be a support for this hard situa situation for Afghan people. Um, so in your view that what CIA is bringing to the Afghanistan's business community? And CIA help us to, from a trading company we changed to a, a bigger company and by our platform, by our network right now, uh, a lot of Afghan people and a lot of uh, Afghan business owners they have this opportunity to send their products to China. Alex in Timor Last, because his uh, coffee booth actually attracted many people's attention uh, last in the last year at CIE. So Alex, please tell us something about the coffee industry of the uh, Timor Last and your experience to attending CIE. Timor Leste is still at least development country. Every year, the Chinese government give. Timor Leste every booth at the CIIE. In your views, how, how does CIE is to boost the bilateral uh, economic relation between China and Timor Leste? Participating in the CIIE is significant for uh, enhancing the popularity of Timor Leste coffee and, and agriculture product. Promotion helping Timor Leste post-pandemic economy improving people's life livelihood. Timor Leste will be still bring the best mongoose, mongoose coffee, I mean, and specialty coffee at this year, CIIE. Um, as you know, that CIE really showcased the China's commitment to further opening up and to share the future for different countries and regions. Uh, so what's your expectation for the upcoming CIE? Yeah, CIE, this platform is uh, very supportive for uh, the countries. Uh, if we give some examples like Afghanistan, uh, those countries which is with the uh, low economic uh, uh, critical situation, so CIE could be very good and supportive because by this big platform, we can bring the best product from our countries and. Uh, introduced to China market and at the same time by this CIA platform we do the branding and promotion for the other countries. Uh, thank you for watching us with the third roundtable of CIE and thank you Alex and uh, Ali for sharing us your very um, unforgettable experience story with the CIE. So looking forward to seeing you at the venue.